had 34 years of experience in education, and I am the author of four bestsellers. Some students come in your classroom angry. Some come in stressed. You want to do everything you can to eliminate as much anger and stress as possible and get their brain in a state for learning. One thing you can do is greet them at the door. Tell them how happy you are to have them in class today. Another is to have calming music playing when they come in. The music will get that brain in a state for learning. And then start every class with an affirmation, something positive, like turn to your neighbor and say, you are so smart. Yeah, good morning, Anam. Come on Hi. in. Have a seat. Good morning. Hi, Sydney. Hi. Hi, Keelan. Good morning, good morning. Peyton. We are so smart. Has everybody had an opportunity to finish their warm-up? Yes. Excellent. Did you discuss your daily science splash questions with your elbow button? parents and community leaders throughout the world cater for over 30 years and our when it comes the good news remember we said that you could eliminate about 50 percent of your behavior problems just by the way you set up your classroom environment well, let's talk about five basic elements of a brain-compatible classroom. Number one would be color. There are certain calming colors and there are high-energy colors. Your calming colors would be your blues, your greens, your earth tones, your pastels. If you want to remember the calming colors for the brain, all you have to remember is nature. The sky is blue, the grass is green, the earth is brown, and the rainbow is in pastels. Your high energy colors for the brain would be your reds and your oranges and your deep yellows. If you want to remember the high energy colors, just remember fast food. All of your fast food restaurants are painted high energy colors. Why? They want you to get in, get your food, and get out. It's a high traffic place to be. One of the topics mentioned in Shouting Won't Grow Dendrites is the importance of the use of color and scenery in your classroom. In this classroom, I've chosen to use blues and greens and the ocean as the backdrop for where the students will be learning about life science. Blues and greens because of their calming nature and the ocean because it centers the mind and allows students to focus on what they will be learning.